Hello everyone, welcome back to All in One Academy Educator. In today's class, we're going to learn about rationalization part 2. So in part 1, you got to know what is the meaning of rationalization and how to change the irrational numbers into rational numbers. So what is the meaning of rationalization? Let us recall again. It is converting the irrational numbers into rational numbers which will be in denominator. Today, we're going to learn how we can rationalize whenever it is in multiplication, addition, subtractions or divisions, those type of sums by using some certain methods and formulas. Okay, let us enter into the video. You can see here the first question, cube root of 4 into cube root of 16. How to solve this? So, there is one formula that is nth root of a into nth root of b. The meaning of this is, when powers are same, we can multiply the numbers inside the root. That is, cube root of a value is 4. Am I right? This is the a value. This will be the b value. And this is the n value. Got it, children? Now, n value here is 3. We can just multiply it. That is a into b. That is 4 into 16. What is 4 into 16? That is cube root of 16 fours are 64. Now, you people have to tell me what is cube root of 64? Cube root of 64 is nothing but? Cube root of 64 is nothing but? 4 is the answer. Because square root of 64 is 8. Cube root of 64 is 4. Got it? Now, simple logic here is the formula what we have used here nth root of a into nth root of b is nth root of a into b. So, this is the formula that we need to use to simplify the thirds or the irrational numbers. I hope you got the first sum how to do it. Now, let us see how to do the second sum when it is in division. I have your powers are same. The formula that we need to use here is nth root of a by nth root of b is nothing but nth root of a by b. So, I need to apply this formula now. What we have in terms of a here? a is nothing but 1, 2, 5, 0, b is nothing but 2 and n value is 4 here. Got it children? Now let us substitute these values in the given formula that is 4th root of what is a value we have here? 1, 2, 5, 0 and what is the b value we are having here? That is 2. So we can cancel with 2 table with the numerator and denominator. So we will get 4th root of 2, 6, 2, 2, and 2, 5, za. We have 4th root of 6 to 5. What is 4th root of 6 to 5? 5 into 5 is 25. 25 into 5 is 125. 125 into 5 is 625. That means I will get the answer as 5 here. Because 5 power 4. You will be getting the answers. So we got to know how to do for multiplication. We got to know how to do for division. Now let us see how to multiply the binomials. Now whatever we have done that is monomial. That is all our single terms. When it is there binomial, trinomial, how to solve those type of sums, we will see now. So, I have here 4 plus root 7 and 3 plus root 2. How to solve this? So, we know the distributive property. Am I right? We need to take the first number that is 4. You have to multiply completely with the 3 plus root 2. That is 4 into 3 plus root 2. Similarly, I need to take the second term that is root 7. Completely, you need to multiply with whatever the remaining is. So that is root 7 into 3 plus root 2. I hope you got my point. First 4 into 3 plus root 2, then plus 7, root 7 into 3 plus root 2. Let us multiply now. 4 into 3 is 4, 3 is at 12, plus 4 root 2, plus root 7 into 3 is 3 root 7. Most of the children, they write their answer as root 21. Say normal number and asserts we cannot multiply. Please remember this. Asserts and asserts. Asserts means which is under the root. A root and root can multiply. A number and number can be multiplied. But a root and a number cannot be multiplied. That's why I have written here as 4 into 3 is 12. But I wrote 4 into 2 as not 6. What I have written? 4 root 2. <coughs> Am I right? I am not multiplying those numbers. Here also. 3 root 7. But here I have root and root. Root 7 and root 2, the answer is root 14 because they are like. Now, let us see the next step that is 12 plus 4 root 2 plus 3 root 7. I think we can't simplify anything. You can write 4 root 2 plus 3 root 7 plus root 14 as it is. So, if it is like any like terms, any unlike terms, so if there is any like matching terms, you can simplify here where everything is an unlike terms. Got it children, how to use distributive property. Now let us see how to solve the next 
type of sum here the fourth one we have 11 plus root 11 11 minus root 11 whenever we have like this combination that is a plus b and a minus b when both the terms are same with the difference and that is a plus b and a minus b we can use the formula a square minus b square what is the formula that we can use a square minus b square so what we have in place of a here that is 11 square minus what we have in place of b here that is root 11 whole square what is 11 square children 11 into 11 you need to multiply two times 11 square is 121 minus square and square would get cancelled what is remaining 11 what is 121 minus 11 you will get the answer as 110 I hope you got all our different varieties of sum which you will be learning in your 9th standard very very important rationalization step if you are learning in your ICSC you will be learning this in 8th or 9th this is a completely under search and rationalization concept once you learn these basics now you will be able to do any type of sums in your grade 6 to grade 10 let us see the next variety of sum that is when it is squared I can see here that root 3 plus root 7 whole square they have given so that is in the form of a plus b whole square so what is a plus b whole square formula a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab now what I have in place of a that is root 3 whole square in place of b root 7 whole square plus 2 into root 3 into root 7 because it is 2ab Square and square root get cancelled, 3 plus, square and square root get cancelled, 7 plus, 2 root, 7, 3 is at 21. Here also many children will do one mistake, they will add all the numbers here. We should add only 7 plus 3 that is 10 and we need to write 3 root 21 as it is because 3 is present with the root, it is not present alone. So you cannot add that. I hope you got all the 5 varieties of sums. One is in monomial, monomial with multiplication division. One was with the normal distributive property. One was with a plus b, a minus b, the a square minus b square formula. One was with a plus b whole square. Now let us see still more different types of sums related to this. Okay. Now let us see how to do different varieties of sums. So we have seen already the five sums. So we can see the different still more in the rationalization. Once you have gone through all these 10 sums, you feel 9th standard rationalization. So whatever the classes you are studying, rationalization and search, very interesting and very easy also. Okay. So let us hope that you would have understood and try to watch my other videos also and keep on subscribing the channel so that we will get more and more supports and we will get more interest to put more interesting videos. So here I have root 5 minus root 3 whole square. Use a minus b whole square formula children. a square plus b square minus 2ab. So in place of a, what I have here, I have root 5 whole square, b value is root 3 whole square, minus 2 into root 5 into root 3. Root 5 whole square is 5, root 3 whole square, we can cancel this 3, minus 2 root 5 3 is a 15. So what is 5 plus 3? That is 8 minus 2 root 15 is the given answer. You cannot add children, you cannot add here or subtract here with whatever the terms we have. Most of you will, what you will do, I know, I have seen many of the children, they will add everything, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 minus 2, 6 root, uh, 15 they will write and keep, no. You have to keep this term as it is, okay, it is with the rational and irrational, got it? Now let us see how to do when it is given like this, 3 by root 5. Just whatever is the root 5 that you need to convert into rational. So just you have to multiply root 5 by root 5, this is a procedure, rationalization procedure, Multiply this 3 root 5 divided by root 5 into root 5 root 5 whole square. So I get my answer as 3 root 5 by 5 because square and square will get cancelled. Similarly here also I need to remove the root only the root you need to multiply not the 2. Okay. So that is root 5 by root 5. That's why I am teaching this type of sum also. What you people will do 2 root 5 2 root 5 will multiply and keep. So better you multiply only root 5 root 5. It will be easy so that you will understand the concept. Only the irrational numbers we need to multiply. You will get 3 root 5 by 2 into root 5 whole square. Because root 5 into root 5 root 5 whole square. I am just multiplying this. You will get 3 root 5 divided by 2 into square and square will get cancelled 5. You will get 3 root 5 by 5 2 is at 10. So I hope you have understood all these two types of sums. Now let us see the next type of sum with binomials. So into root 2 into root 2 you have to do. 
So root 2 into root 3 plus 1 divided by what is root 2 into root 2? Root 2 whole square. So this is a distributive property monomial with a binomial. Root 2 into root 3 is root 6 plus root 2 into 1 is root 2 divided by 2 is the given answer. You cannot add or subtract any search children. You can only multiply and divide. Here also same logic into root 5 by root 5 will get root 5 into root 2 minus 1 by root 5 whole square. So multiply this root 5 into root 2 that is root 10 minus root 5 divided by 5. So this is how you can solve any types of rational agent sum in the easy way. I hope you have gone through all types of sums. You can keep on watching all other videos also rationalization part 1 or whatever the topics you want me to post also. I will be there to help you out. Anytime you can just comment in my section or you can go to the channel and you can tell all your uh, whatever the doubts you have. Okay. Thank you all.